Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the life of Pre. It has been a busy morning already. Me and my assistant were out in the field collecting heading date information, which I will explain in a future video. We also this afternoon will have to come back to the field to retie some of the stakes. The twine has broken, so yay, maintenance. It happens. Let's see, what else? Oh, I have several meetings I have to go to today, which I will not make you go with me. That would be cruel. And then, well, the highlight of the day is when I have to head into lab and grind some leaf tissue. What does that mean? Well, just wait and see. Okay, it is time to head into lab. As you can tell, I have a bike helmet on and here is my wonderful bike. Now, something to know about Davis is we are probably like number one or two for biking schools and biking cities. Literally, we probably have more bikes than cars at points, especially pre-COVID. Thousands and thousands of bikes on campus and uh, <laughs> whenever it's passing period, ooh, you better watch out. Let's just say that um, bikers have the right of way, not pedestrians and not cars. It's the bikers. It's just how it is. Anyway, so I will be biking into lab because like everyone else, that's the thing to do. Okay, so we have made it to lab. We're in my building, right? And I will walk you through the lab, but I'm not going to explain anything yet because well, future videos. And here is my bench, but instead I'm going to take you over to the Lifealyzer, which is this machine here with these bubbles. What it does is it creates a vacuum, which will then suck out all the water from our leaf tissues. These leaves were collected from the field, and due to this vacuum that you can see here, will become super dry and brittle, which is perfect for grinding. And now I've taken the plates out, and you can see the porous seal on them, which means it lets water and air out, but not the leaves. The next step from here is to add two metal balls to each well, and these can be seen here in this contraption, which I will place above the plates, hit a little button, and then they will fall into the wells. And here we are. I have added the metal balls, and you can see them in there with the leaves. So it's now time to add a top and we will seal the plate and it is ready to be crushed. Okay, I am now on my way to go actually grind the tissue. Now that the plates have been set up, I have 14 plates to grind. Uh, two are my lab mate Sarah's and since I already had 12, what's well, two more, right? Anyway, usually we have our own fancy grinder in our lab, but the lid is currently broken. So I have to go to another building where uh, Dr. Pat Brown has graciously allowed us to use his machine, which is the one I will be showing off once we get there. Okay, so here is the old version of the grinder um, that I will be using today. Here is how you set the time and strokes per minute, so that's going to determine how quickly this machine goes up and down to grind. And dial settings is set to 500. We're doing a one times rate, so that means 1500 strokes per minute. That's exactly what I want. And the plates will go in here. Okay, so the plates have been clasped in, and it's very important that everything is balanced. So these four plates weigh the exact same, or very approximately the exact same. So let's like one got missed that's okay I will go personally grind those with a little stick after this but yeah almost everything got grinded so that's what I'll be doing with all my other plates 
Okay, so the tissue is all grinded up now and is stored in the minus 20 and ready for DNA extractions, which, guess what, will be in a future video. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here today. I hope you all had a wonderful Thursday. See you tomorrow.